fast. John? Like in the looks of a balance, thank you. Time now, 11.15 here on your Friday morning. And because it is Friday, and because we're wrapping up July, and because there's so many things going on, the good news is Discover Peoria is here to be your concierge for local events, shops to visit, eateries to try, and places to explore across the greater Peoria region. And by the way, the Peoria area has a ton happening, so to make sure you're not missing anything going on in the community, you can follow Discover Peoria on social media. We'll have some of those handles up towards the end of the interview, but the good news is, and we got them there too, if you want to grab that now, we're going to dive right into it with President and CEO J.D. D'Alfonso here in studio to share what's going on discover this week. Good to have you, man. Thanks for coming it's in. Great to see you again. It's yeah, you ya. as well. It's a special appearance, I should it is. say. You yeah. downgraded. You don't get Ashley today, oh but she'll be back. Oh my gosh, downgrade. all will be right back in the world. Oh, so. would you but stop? But I'm happy to be here. Though. Oh, it's great to have you, man, as always. Let's dive right into it here. Let's talk about Spoon River Days up in Wyoming. Just kick things yeah, off. Yeah, tomorrow uh, we have Spoon River Days up in Wyoming, up in Stark County. Take the family up there. we got some wholesome memory experiences happening in conjunction with the Stark County Junior Fair. So you're going to have bags tournament, water balloon fights for the kids. You get a beer garden there for the adults as well. But head up to our great partners in Stark County and Wyoming and a fun-filled day. It starts from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. So plenty of time to get out there and enjoy. I do love the fact that I think for a lot of people here in the Peoria and Bloomington Normal area, they kind of consider maybe Stark County a little more fringe, but I love that we're kind of looping them in. We're, we're integrating them and keeping their events on the calendar. There's a fantastic opportunity up in Stark County that you know, we really want to make sure eyes are drawn to. You know, mm -hmm. We cover such a diverse area them being more um, rural activities that we can enjoy. That's uh, great, wholesome, memorable experiences for the family. So we love our partners in Stark County. Love to hear it. All right, bringing it back to Peoria here, Fiesta and El Rio. Yes, correct. I'm glad you said it. You rolled it off a little bit easier than I. But oh. down in Peoria, <laughs> uh, we have uh, the uh, uh, tomorrow, 4 to se 4 o'clock to 9 p.m., right there on the riverfront, I believe. Some really great uh, festival to a nod to our Hispanic heritage that is here, growing population, fantastic food. Live music, dancing, kids' activities, again, once again, very family-friendly uh, down on the riverfront. Come out and uh, enjoy many of the festivals that we're having on the riverfront this year. So, looking forward to it. Biggest incentive for me, I know we were running some of the video there, some delicious-looking food, oh. so you can't say no to that. Yes, yeah, so I think people would be really surprised at how the, the culinary arts in the, in the Hispanic uh, community is really growing, have some really special things coming. I think you could just get a taste of it, literally. Quite literally, uh, yeah. yeah. Tomorrow. <laughs> Perfect. The festival. Yeah. Awesome. And then uh, we've also got Peoria's Municipal Bay and performing a little bit too, right? Yes. I'm telling you, this is one of the best kept secrets, and I wish it wasn't so much of a secret. Families go out to Glen Oak Park, the amphitheater. I've had the pleasure of being an MC out there alongside Dr. Vroman. Talk about great family fun. Uh, bring my family down there. Starts at 7. We'll be done by 8 p.m. Uh, fantastic talent and musicians right here in Peoria. That's been doing it for decades, and I mean decades. So I've been able to witness this this year, and I encourage a lot of people to go out this Sunday. Enjoy the music, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m., uh, and just enjoy the outdoors, the great weather, and, uh, you know, enjoy the music. Yeah, that's right. Balance has been yeah. talking about some great conditions coming up for us soon. And then, J.D., as always, what are the best ways to plug in and connect with you guys? Always feel free to head to discoverpeoria.com, our social handles that were up on the screen. But for all the things we're talking about here today, go to discoverpeoria.com slash events. And all the events information that we're talking about here and more will be listed right there. Perfect. And you can also submit events there, correct? Absolutely. Submit to the counter events free to do so. It goes to our system. We'll be able to review it, communicate with anybody that need any more details, uh, and then we'll be posted right there on, on the region's most comprehensive ca calendar of events. I remember Ash was saying, too, that you guys have one of the easiest systems to enter events into, yes. which you always love to hear, right? Easy you, is good. you got a lot of things going on with events. We want to make sure the submission and promotion that we do is simple and seamless. President J.D. D'Alfonso, everybody. J.D., thanks for coming in, man. Appreciate it as always. Pleasure to be here. Thanks, Absolutely. Guys. Good to see you. Thanks. And, of course, if you or someone you know would like to join us on In the Know to talk about what's going on outside of these things, obviously, that deserve a lot of attention, you can go to 25newsnow.com slash in the know, click the tab, fill out the fields. And, of course, we got some birthday shout-outs to round out the work week. Stay tuned to see who's blowing out the candles.